Hi guys and welcome to my new video tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about six hidden functionality of Windows 7 that can help you a lot and save you time and frustrations. The first one I want to show you now is reliability history. You can access it uh, from start search looking for reliability. Once you open it, you, you've shown a graph and this graph is really helpful because it shows you the reliability score of your system ranging from 1 to 10 and it can be viewed on a single day or in a week which is more helpful. Now if you see the week view you see the reliability of my system uh, varied and you have this graph over here and uh, this graph is really helpful because it shows you uh, several events like application failures, Windows failures, miscellaneous failures, and it shows you warnings and information also. You can have more information by clicking on each one of these items here. For example, yellow triangles, anyway, mean some problem. You can see there was some failed Windows updates. Here you can see there was a critical event. It wasn't a real problem in the end, but that's really helpful to understand the reliability history of your system. Another useful tool overlooked by most users is Problem Steps Recorder. As you can see, uh, you can access uh, the tool looking for PSR and search box from start. And control panel tells you record steps to reproduce a problem. That's what it is. Practically, when you have uh, a computer problem and you need outside help, it's very uh, handy to have a tool like this allowing you to record all the steps you took uh, when the problem occurred so that a help desk or whoever has to help you with this problem understands when it occurred and uh, why and under which conditions. Now I can start recording here and I can start doing a series of actions like opening folders and here I got an error, I don't know why, but nothing important. Uh, I can add a comment in this case and uh, for example I can write it here When I'm done, I can stop the recording here and save the resulting file as a zip file wherever I want. Another useful tip for Windows 7 is uh, how to pin folders to the taskbar. I already explained in a previous post on my blog that in Windows 7 by default you could only do that with applications. But there's a workaround uh, you can use to do the same with folders and I'm gonna show you now. I created just for this purpose a folder named temp here if I drag this folder to the taskbar, you can see the 
pen to Windows Explorer appears here. If I release that, I add my folder pinned to the taskbar as if it were an application. What's the use of this? You can simply access the folder right clicking Explorer button here from the taskbar, which is really useful. Other overlooked trick, uh, kind of nifty, you can use in Windows 7 is uh, using WordPad to open Microsoft Word 2007 or 2010 documents uh, in a docx format or uh, ODT uh, files created with OpenOffice Writer. If you don't have um, the native application installed in your system, that's um, something that only uh, Windows 7 supports because WordPad in other versions. Uh, up to Windows Vista supports only RTF files, rich text format. Now you see that a WordPad correctly opened the Word document. Mm, it can have any way it's a hard time with specific uh, document format, but this is not the case. It's kind of uh, anyway helpful when you don't have Microsoft Office or OpenOffice installed. Another nifty trick I want to show you is about the extra uh, functionalities of Windows 7 Calculator. In fact, other than the usual um, functionalities available in the previous Windows versions, this utility has more functionalities here in Windows 7 available under View menu. So we have, for example, Programmer. You can work with hexadecimal numbers, decimal numbers, IP octets, binary numbers or with the registry keys uh, several kinds of values like decimal numbers, word numbers, uh, bytes and so on. Or you can have statistics functionality like uh, uh, average and um, other ones or you can have other useful functionalities like uh, unit conversion. You can convert uh, several kinds of measure unit like uh, pressure, temperature, For example, you can convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius or Fahrenheit to Kelvin uh, and so on. Another extra function is worksheets here that allows you to calculate uh, a mortgage payment or a vehicle lease, a uh, fuel economy of a vehicle in miles per gallon and liters per kilometer. That's a kind of nifty trick, really useful. Sometimes you have to go online to find the converter. Much easier to do it in Windows itself. Last but not least, I want to show you how to get rid of a file in Windows once and for all. Probably uh, you know that uh, when you delete a file or a folder in Windows, they don't get 
actually erased from the file system. They only get unaccessible to Windows Explorer and the cluster uh, they occupied are marked as available for use, which means they can still be recovered until a program or a file overrides those clusters. Not everybody knows that Windows has a built-in functionality called Cypher that uh, allows you to overwrite the available disk space on a Windows volume, get rid of the deleted files for good. To access that, you need to open command prompts. Uh, you can do it by uh, all programs, accessories, or by digiting CMD here. I have already the command prompt open uh, because I had already used it uh, a while ago. So, first thing you want to do is go back to root directory just to be sure, entering cd backslash. Once you're here, you're gonna use this command, cipher space slash w colon x. X uh, must be replaced with the letter assigned to the volume or partition you want to wipe because W stands for wipe. In my case I got C. So once we're set here we can press enter and we're good to go. Now the program starts overriding the available disk space. I'm going to abort it, otherwise it's going to cause my system to crash. Alright guys, uh, that's all I have to show you for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and go on following me in the next tutorials. Thank you very much for your time and have a good day. Bye bye.